In this episode, I'm going to cover upgrading to Dart 2. I'll talk about JSON and casting. Well, JSON, the uppercase library call, has been changed to or renamed to the lowercase JSON. And then I'll cover implicit to explicit casting. I'll talk about casting to a list and casting to a map. So to get started, I'm going to go to my application. And I created this application in the previous episode. Well, it turns out when I upgraded to Dart 2, I had some problems. So two of the problems, let's just go down and look at the first problem, and then I'll show the second when I run the application. Well, if I scroll down in this get datas method, and I talked about this in the episode prior to this, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So if you want to see that episode in greater detail, go to the link in the description and you can get there. Well, it looks like there's a library change you can see that the class has been deprecated. So what does that mean? That means I've got to upgrade it. Otherwise, sometime in the future, this class or library may get rid of the deprecation call that I'm accessing it. Okay, so let's look at this, this class here. I'm going to command click on it and go to it. And I can see deprecated, use JSON instead of JSON. What does that mean? Lowercase JSON might throw you off as it did me when I first looked at this because normally when I call a class, I'm thinking it might, the type starts with uppercase letters. Well, in this case, they changed it from all uppercase to lowercase. So if you look here, we have a JSON constant variable and that is available to me when I import the library just like JSON all uppercase variable is. And this is a constant which is compiled at compile time. So if we go back, I could change this to lowercase and get the same thing. But if you see, I called this my, I already created a variable, so I have a collision here. So I need to change this. I'm gonna change it to string, JSON string instead, and delegate that to the decode method there. So I pass that JSON. And you can see that was easy fix from all uppercase to lowercase. Well, that fixed the first issue. Now I'll run it to show you the second issue. So I'm gonna start from the beginning up here and hit the debug button. And this should restart the application. As you can see in the app, it's already loaded and the data wasn't loading properly. And I'll describe that in greater detail here as it's restarted. So I had an exception in the, the console output and I'm gonna go over here, let's just uh, change the view size here so we can see a little bit more in this video. And I can see it through an exception. And what is this? Type list dynamic is not a subtype of list map dynamic dynamic where list is from. Okay, so this is a little bit hard to read. I look at that first and I go, what does this mean? What is it trying to tell me to do in my code? What am I failing to do? Okay, so let's navigate to it by clicking on the exception here, the zero at the top of the stack, trace, and it's pointing to JSON decode, JSON string. And it's also saying it can't convert to list dynamic, or it can't convert from list dynamic to list map dynamic dynamic. Well, that's a bit confusing. And I can tell you from reading the docs a little bit, I, they have all kinds of Dart 2 warnings that say the type system is now explicit instead of implicit. So what does that mean? And I'm not gonna go into great detail on this because there's some better videos out there already covering the topic. Okay, so let's look at what decode is doing. Decode is providing a return type of dynamic. So dynamic is basically like a Java object, which could fit any type of variable. Well, in this declaration, it's inferred that it's list map. Well, this is not an explicit cast here. I'm implying that, okay, the return type of this dynamic decode object is implicitly a list with a, a list of maps. So in Dart 2, I have to specifically explicitly state what type it's returning so the type system has type safety and like i said i won't cover that in greater detail but i'll show you by example what i mean by that so now i have a list I, so the first there's going to be a couple steps here now there may be a little bit better elegant way to cover this in the future and i'm 
But the first step here is to correct the problem. Okay, so I wanted to load my data to start with. So I've got to, got to work this backwards a little bit. Okay, so let me just work this. Okay, so it wants to cast to a list and then dynamic. So first of all, I'm going to figure out what type it is actually returning. So I'm going to change it to var and just see what the inference says because, I, and then I'll set a breakpoint on the next line so I can inspect this variable. Okay, so I'm going to start it over and run it from the beginning just to, to show you um, what happens when it breaks on this on this statement here. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the variables inspection. I can see the list is a growable list. Okay, so that is a list. So I could cast it to a list. So let's go ahead and resume. And now let's just talk about how we can cast that. Okay, I'm going to remove the breakpoint. So the first thing I can do is revert it back here, undo. And the way you cast in Dart is by specifying the as keyword, and then I can say list. And uh, I, I'm, my aim is to say map. Well, let's see what happens here if I want try to cast it to a list and map. So I'm going to run it. Let's see, hot reload. Let's see. If, oh, I forgot to set a breakpoint. Maybe there's time. And hot reload didn't do it. So I got to run from the beginning in this case because it's in, instantiating or running or calling from init state. Okay, so did I make it in time? So something happened there. And so I, I went down here and restarted the debugging process. Okay, so we're back in action. We got an exception here. Okay, let's look at it again. Okay, list dynamic. Okay, same same exception. So I didn't I didn't make it to the to the breakpoint yet because this this line of code is actually failing. So let's remove the generic. Work it backwards. Let's start with a, a simpler type casting. And so basically, I'm casting from the dynamic up to the list. So let's just so let's just rerun this process from the beginning. Okay, something's not working right in this case, and it's not at the tail here or at the bottom of the, the console output. So I'm gonna go over here and click on the button so it goes to the tail. Okay, so there's an exception here with the for each, and you can see that the IDE is even trying to tell me that this exception exists. So let's comment out this line and divide and conquer. First, we wanna get this to work. Next, we'll get the, the iterator to work as well. So let's go start from the beginning. Okay, great. The dynamic object has now cast to the list. Let's just inspect that variable. Inspection down here is list. Okay, it's exactly as it was before. It's a list, but the compiler is not complaining to me this and telling me it is not working. So I tried to cast to a map and it wasn't able to do that. So let's just let's look at how we could do that how can i get this list to be a list of generic maps okay so i'm going to go ahead and resume it resume it let's just resume okay now i'm going to work with this iteration statement and in this case i'm just going to say okay let me let me make this an element because it's a dynamic type right at the moment so i'm going to say element because each type here is now dynamic. I could just say dynamic here at, at, to describe what I'm doing. But I'm not going to use dynamic. I'm going to actually work with it down here. So I'm going to say it's going to give me an element for each item in the list. And so let's just make this a, a little bit more verbose here and do a line return. So the fun inline function now becomes a multi-line function has a little bit more body. Okay, so a map, I need a map. So I have an element, how do I get it to be a map? Well, I could do another cast, let's go var map, and let's just define map, and go map equals, okay, how do we cast element to a map as map? Okay, so there may be a better elegant solution, but in this case, I wanna go over just the walking through the process of how I'm going to cast to a map. If you have a more elegant solution, feel free to comment down below in, in the video comments, and I'd like to hear how you solved your casting issue. Okay, so now let's remove the breakpoint, and I'm going to debug again from the beginning and just see if my application now works. 
Okay, fantastic. In this case, you can see that my application is working now because on the left, I have value zero, and you can see if I go through, it's an infant list that loads every three seconds. And I talked about this in the previous episode. And if you want to know more about this process, I'll have a link in the description and a card at the end of this video. So that covers upgrading to Dart 2 in this application. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.